So today we are at Technical University Berlin in front of Technical University Berlin. So today I will share my like, program, what I'm doing here, which in which program I am, and why I am studying in TU Berlin. So today we have uh, Gori with us, who uh, is also in the same program which I am. So she will share her view on the program. Did she like it or what are the opportunities and blah 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 blah. So yeah. Gauri. Hello everyone. When have you started this program? Uh, okay. Uh, I am in now I'm doing now masters in polymer science. Uh, and I, I was in the batch of summer 2020 when exactly pandemic started. <laughs> so what do you think about the program? Because it is between four universities, right? And we have to go in four universities, study there, do the internship, semester, thesis in one of the university. So how do you look to this program? Like when I was finding this, finding this program, uh, there was like difficulty for me. And I found this program and I was like, oh man, this is so ideal for me. Because I was looking for polymer science, masters in polymer science. I have done my bachelor's in polymer science. So I was looking for polymer science and I was getting all material science, polymer uh, engineering. So I just got this and I was like, these four universities are public. So it's fantastic, man. And it's in Germany. So there is no tuition fees or like a minimal tuition fees. So how do you look about it? Uh, okay, so I also I was not particularly looking for this program, but it was one of my list because I work with polymers when I was working in Godrej. Mm. So yes, you are right. There are four public universities, and uh, no tuition fee. Just you have to pay semester fee, uh, and uh, that is around three hundred. Yeah, three hundred to like three hundred or three fifty. Yeah, it depends on university which you go in, but not more than four hundred. But benefits like you get to travel free, you have uh, so many discounts because you are a student in public university. And other thing is, yes, this four university also attracted me mm -hmm. because then you get to meet a lot of professors, you get to know uh, research groups, a lot of research group, and then you can decide uh, where you want to do your thesis. So that's how I met my professor, uh, which is Altin Tash. And I am a chemist, but uh, now I'm doing my specific uh, master thesis in biosensor, which I never have thought that I would do it. So it is possible because of this program. So uh, yes, a lot of challenges came in this program because it's not easy to travel. It's not easy to uh, maintain that energy throughout your all four universities. It's OK that you need to take time and recharge. It is challenging. The student who is going to apply has to be mentally prepared, and uh, you can like uh, uh, decide that if this is your cup of tea or not. But buckle up. If you do it, you can do it. And once you done the first year, once you pass all the four universities, then it's great. Then you know what to do, and everything becomes easier. So you didn't tell us where are you from. Are, I'm from Mumbai. I'm from Mumbai. Jai Maharashtra. <laughs> Jai Maharashtra. <laughs> and I'm from Rajasthan. So and Mumbai Indians beat Rajasthan in IPL. Just one match. <laughs> uh, they just won one match out of nine and... <laughs> but I feel oh, like I won. Yeah. So, yeah. so, can you tell more about the uh, application form of the program? And yeah. how they can, mm, how the audience or the student sitting in India can or in their hometown, yeah. home country can just file the application from the website. Yeah, sure. It's very uh, easy to find it because if you just type Polymer Science Berlin, then they have a homepage. And in that homepage, you can click the application process and then uh, there is a details to which you have to send the email with what kind of document so you need letter of motivation three recommendation letter transcripts ILTLs and if you have some publication then you can send some that kind of form or some uh, experience letter that you worked in an industry or something I think that, that that they can also include in CV so uh, yes but if you have any extra yeah then you can just mention it 
yeah, highlight it. For example, I did uh, two levels of German. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they are not necessary, but it's um, what they say, icing on a cake. Mm. It just builds your um, profile good. And for IELTS, you need 6.5 band and you also need an application form to fill so that you can get on the site. So that's not a problem. So in the first year, we have four universities. So all the theory part is in the first year and in the second year, we all have ALP, master thesis. So can you tell more about this? Uh, sure. Like, for example, like in first year, as he said, there are two universities in one semester and they have practicals also so along with theory part you have to write uh, really nice lab reports and they have grades yeah. please please uh, be uh, sure that you know how to uh, write scientific writings or uh, you know how to use uh, origin softwares and excel in excellent way <laughs> because i struggled i literally cried in my first lab report writing which was in TU Berlin because I was a summer student so I don't have any background yeah so so, so, so the, uh, just let me cut you for the short time yeah, yeah, yeah. and so the best time is the winter semester so yes. take the winter intake just go yes. for the winter intake rather than summer intake because don't go in it, summer <laughs> <laughs> it will make your life so easy because they start from winter it's meant for winter uh, because when you come in winter, it starts from Fry University and it's all about chemistry. Yeah, so and very basic. They tell you what is polymer, how you can synthesize it, how you can characterize it. Then in Humboldt, you go for physics part. Uh, and it can be get, it, then it starts to become tricky. But if you pay attention, then it's okay. You just have to be alert and uh, studious about this thing and be interested in program. And then in technical university, it really step up <laughs> that like lab reports and everything like just yeah. goes crazy it's all about kinetics of polymer yeah but once you train your mind how to think like that then Potsdam University becomes easier mm. it's also physics it's electro electronics mm -hmm. uh, but if you pay attention again it would be easier uh, so it's like in FU you study about chemistry uh, then in HU you study about physics and in TU and in PU you study more about kinetics and application, application. Parts, yeah. yeah more about that yeah and in second year like in third semester what you have to do uh, in third semester there is a 15 credit advanced lab report oh my god <laughs> which is mandatory yes <laughs> and along with this report you have to complete 15 credits of your lecture course but don't worry you can split your lecture credits in your uh, fourth semester as well mm. but uh, about the advanced lab you have to complete it so you have to work you have to choose one lab by sending an email to a professor that i want to work with this project or in your lab and then you start working you have to complete three months and then you have to write a report about what you did and uh, explain in best possible way and then it is graded and it is very important grade yeah. and based on this uh, three months of work you can continue there maybe as a master thesis and it helps your thesis yeah. because then you don't have to waste the time like the three Just months research yeah you and just also you can continue yeah. yeah so what i did was i took the admission in winter intake and so there is summer gap right summer vacation so i did my internship like this alp project in my summer uh, in my holidays the three months Same. <laughs> i also did in holidays because at corona pandemic i had the uh, two months vacation yeah but i didn't waste any of time i just yeah. started my advanced life so, so, so for my the motivation was totally different <laughs> because i want to go to my home so three to months, india <laughs> i went three oh months and God. they were so jealous of that i am <laughs> still what the heck i planned it so well that i have completed yeah. my alp and uh, because of Corona, it helped me <laughs> because all the courses were online. Yeah. So I did it but from India every, itself. Now everything is on site. I am going yeah. on site course now. 
Yeah, now all things are on site. So, yeah. but uh, you can mail the application form. You don't have to post it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's still an advantage of it, I would say. Yeah. And each each university gives you thirty credit credits ECTs, and in total the course give you one twenty ECTs. So that's one more information. So I think we walked around one kilometer, so we just sat here <laughs> near the lake. Yeah, it's very yeah. beautiful. Yeah, it's just near our university. This building, which is constructing yeah, from yeah. ages. Oh yeah. <laughs> so uh, I want to ask a question: that can you only do internship or your master thesis only in the these four university, or else like you can also apply to any company or any other institute or any other university at different place? Good question. Definitely, you can apply for the different institutes within Berlin or out outside Berlin too. So there are like Fraunhofer, Helmholtz, uh, or BAM. Uh, there are like places where you can do your master thesis or internship. One of my friend actually went to Sweden to do mm. his master thesis. Yeah. So if you do correct documentation, then there is a way for you to do everything. Yeah, and also you have worked in BAM, right? Uh, yeah. As I, a student I, job. Yes, I did the student uh, hilfe job at the BAM. BAM is a, uh, is a material forschung institute, very famous in Berlin. Uh, and I did a one year of uh, student hilfe job. So you can fund yourself when you are studying here. So how is it like, uh, how to maintain, how to balance the life with your work, with your studies, all things going at the same time? good question again as I told you that the student has to be perfect in his uh, abilities to cope up with the stress uh, in my That's third true. semester I was one year away from my family already mm -hmm. and uh, there were a lot of personal ha changes yeah. happening in you know in the in your lab or personally when things yeah. doesn't work out but you find a way to motivate yourself like why we are here uh, what's our end goal this struggle how it will uh, give us fruits in future so I had a basic schedule for example like work two days in the BAM two mm -hmm. days in my advanced lab and <coughs> in the evening I kept a like specific time to do my uh, own uh, sports workout mm -hmm. so I studied uh, Escrimadores mm -hmm. it's a stick fight uh, mm -hmm sports so it's like a self-defense uh, it's a martial arts uh, also I did a take one dog <laughs> and then I in the summer when you have a lot of sunlight because Sun doesn't set till it's 10 p.m. yeah uh, so we have a lot of energy so I have I had a bicycle and I used to take it for around for 10 kilometers 15 kilometers and uh, these kind of activities help me to maintain my energy with my work and stress and my happy time. Yeah. So you talked about fruitful future. So what a student can think of after doing this course, after doing this masters, how he can approach? Should he go for academics? Should he go for companies? So you are in your final stage of your master thesis. I know that. Yeah. So what are you thinking of what is in your head where should you go where should we go like this is a general question yeah. because we came come here uh, across seven seas and we study here we do a lot of hard work and at the end what we need is good job or a settled life, settled life. so can you comment on that yes uh, so well fruitful future yes definitely with doing this uh, competitive uh, this polymer science uh, program yes you build yourself so high that you can just apply for any kind of jobs in polymer industry uh, there are other friends who got internship in Adidas company like a sports company and they they are working there now so uh, your uh, her future you, they have more perspective now like for example in in Fra University there is famous professor called Professor Hag yeah and he is so famous that if he if your master thesis says his name mm. and there is a recommendation letter him, yeah. then you can get 
uh, internship in kind of like a big companies like uh, BSF or wh wherever his connections are there. So uh, I mean, of course you can try. Maybe it will not work out in proper way as you want, but there is always a higher chance uh, because you have a degree now in your hand uh, from German university. And according uh, for m my case, uh, I have now two options, uh, like to do a PhD because I am keen on doing a PhD. But I'm in the same time I'm thinking to do a job too. So I'm I want to keep my option open. Mm -hmm. So I am in the process of figuring out how to apply a job. Uh, so what do you think this program train you for? So personally, what I think it is meant for if, uh, for academics. If you are doing this, this program really train you for the academics for research because what we do in our first uh, two semesters, they really teach us how to write report, how to do research, how to do uh, in lab and yeah obviously you can go to any company any polymer company any chemist polychemistry company or wherever you want but yeah i personally i believe that this program train you to for research purpose okay that's yeah i mean i agree with you like uh, but uh one can change his uh line and go to industrial level too. yeah yeah that that's so true that's so yeah. true that if you want to go to industry uh, polymer chemistry it's really possible and many of us has went there also but what i'm saying is that just it more focuses about doing phd after masters hmm. that's all i want to convey the message here so the last but not least the final question would be like how do you feel here how are, how is the vibe here in Berlin and also out of these four universities which did you like the most like for me it was Fry I guess yes I also agree my answer is also Fry University this is the fun <laughs> because you because you come from the chemistry background and you do hear chemistry and it's a lot about chemistry lab people, and people like are also future yeah. are so supportive uh, Vipka is there. She was also very kind, very yeah. like she helped me in my personal uh, problem also because the, because I don't I don't uh, speak that fluent German. There was an issue and she was there to help me as a translator. So I really thank her. So all the staff, all the vibes in Fra University, they were so good. And at the end of our day. Uh, they gave us a party. Yeah, yeah. I, I was not there because I was at home. <laughs> yeah. Uh. You always had a party at home. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that was nice. And also if you want to contact, if you want any help, you can just contact to Maria Bult. I will just give her email and you can also find it on the website. She is the contact person. If you have any doubt, any sort of doubt with the document and anything, and if you want to be sure that uh, your what to say your language certificate is valid or not if you can also use your english language certificate rather than your ielts or toefl so you can also ask these type of question to maria bult she is from tu but yeah she is also the coordinator of this program so you can just mail her and she will just quickly reply to you because she also helped me in this term so it was supportive team of this program four of the university came together to build one program and they are doing it really well and yeah i hope it will grow more